All right, guys, it's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's time for tip. Last week was about um, web design, so I thought this week I would mention some Instagram design trick that would be really cool. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the puzzle grids on Instagram, but they're really neat. You can design them on Canva, uh, but they're a little bit harder. There's places that you can get some free templates that are really awesome, but you're not able to manipulate it as much as you want and incorporate your own brand. So I'm going to teach you how to do it on Adobe Illustrator. The first step is to go into Adobe Illustrator, create a square, and then copy that square three over and as far down as you want. I like to create my puzzle grid um, pretty far out. So I would go at least four to 10 probably down. All right, now it's time for the fun part. So you go in and you just create these boxes, put them where you want, I just kind of overlap them using my brand, brand colors. And then you go in and you insert your main photos. So for me, obviously this big one that's taking up four boxes is the main photo. This one's a main photo. This one right here is a main photo. My dog is a main photo. Um, I go in, put those in, and then I go and just fill up the rest of the boxes, making sure that every single box is important in some way, shape, or form. So this one has a quote um, using the font that I have all over my website. So I just try to be as consistent with my brand as I can. Um, this one, I think on this post, I would talk about like it being broken up because as you can see, this one I struggled with. So sometimes you have to get pretty creative, but <laughs> you can definitely do it. I like to also get free... Um, graphics like this and you can get those on creative market if you sign up for their newsletter they send out freebies every week and so I actually didn't even create this I got it for free and you can get free photos this is a stock photo on unsplash pixabay those are two of my favorites so I hope this helps and comment below with any questions you may have so there you have it that's all there is to it I thought I would show you what it looks like on the gram um, if you go to this photo that I was talking about that was kind of broken up, um, you just have to, not that one, you have to get kind of creative with your captions. And so my caption for this one was, anyone else feeling a little disjointed this Thursday morning after the Instagram apocalypse of 2019? Be honest, how many times did you delete and re-download the app? Now that I wasted a whole day trying to upload my, to my stories, post content to my clients' pages, and send DMs unsuccessfully, I'm going to make myself a bomb latte and then probably have about four more cups of coffee. Care to join me? So just make it engaging, um, but I would definitely say for the most part, try to make every single square important and have value.